Hey guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us episode, actually, episode 4, part 3, and this episode has been a very good episode, so let's get back into the episode. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. You just friendship over over the rules. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Let's just say I've been better. <laughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. I don't know 
what to do? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. Everybody in I'm sorry. Me. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Huh? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? talking without the ribbon or with your ribbon you need to be if anyone finds out i can't cooperative here. that's probably you have smell. to talk you have to listen it's big sheriff you. it's sheriff can you keep this conversation between us i'm gonna tell i could be in a lot of trouble i won't tell anyone don't worry i'm gonna tell thank you i'm going to tell snow i'm gonna tell snow Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby. You don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? She that did. would explain why they called. It was mentioned. We need to solve this before. Guys, it was mentioned in episode two. She told, she tells us, our, my character, that she took out a loan from the Crooked Man. 
before something else happens. Who knows what? Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here.